As a radiation oncologist, one of the main diseases we help treat is breast cancer. And radiation's had an increasing role in the treatment of breast cancer. So in the old days, when somebody got breast cancer, although you could see or feel the tumor, you really didn't know where, it's, where it ended. And instead of guessing, they used to just take out the entire breast. We have really moved forward in the treatment of breast cancer with BCS, or what's called breast conserving surgery. And what this is, is we just take out a lump. But one of the biggest problems we have is not knowing where the tumor ends and the normal breast tissue begins. So there's about 280,000 or so women a year who are diagnosed with breast cancer, and about 200,000 of those get a lumpectomy. One out of every four of those women has some residual disease left behind. If you leave any disease behind, you end up doubling the risk that the cancer will come back. Now the problem here is that the surgeon can't, doesn't know this when they're doing the initial operation. They're doing their best to take the minimum amount of tissue so that the cosmetic outcome and the functional outcome is the best it can possibly be until the pathologist gets a chance to look under the microscope and look at the tumor to see that all of it is removed. They don't know that they've missed some. So then the patient has to come back for yet another operation. So using our engineering background and in combination with groups over at UC Berkeley, as well as Dr. Kathy Park's lab here at um, UCSF, Department of Radiation Oncology, who studies breast cancer biology and the tumor microenvironment, we formed a team that, uh, to tackle this problem. And the way we defined the problem was to say, hey, we need to be able to to identify if there's any cells left over. And now we're talking on the order of hundreds, thousands of cells in the tumor bed, but at the time of surgery, not weeks later. And just to give you a point of reference, when you do a mammogram or a CT or MRI, and you see a tumor that's maybe half a centimeter to a centimeter in size, that's somewhere between half a billion and a billion cells. And now we want to detect something on the order of a thousand cells.